Greetings Flight Simmers, and today I will be teaching you guys about scenery libraries. Scenery libraries is a good part of FSX that prioritizes the sceneries based on each different area or based on what your priority is. And you can set these different priorities to show up in the actual FSX world, and I'm going to teach you how to do that here. So first you're going to go to settings and then you're going to go ahead and click on scenery library which is on the side tab here's all your sceneries that you have installed onto FSX from default sceneries all the way to custom sceneries such as the flight Tampa Dubai I just installed the flight Tampa Dubai so the priority will be number one now things underneath this have different priorities not necessarily saying that they will show up first but they will show up over each other so for example, say this scenery was in the same vicinity of or on top of the flight tab at Dubai. In the real world, it would sh well in the FSX world, it would show up on top of Dubai. And this would uh, be covering it or overlapping it in the game. And this is a problem sometimes seen when you have di different sceneries but the same place. And this can get really, really confusing and really, really frustrating especially those that make videos so all you have to do is come in and change the priority and make sure flight Tampa Dubai or whatever other scenery that you're using is on top and this makes sure that it shows up first in the world now different sceneries such as the default sceneries that have different parts of the world such as Western North America Eastern North America Central North America and other parts of the world uh, you can easily disable those by clicking on the enable button here and you could do that for all your other different types of sceneries the more sceneries you have arguably makes your FSX slower and slower so for different parts of the world like giant parts of the world that you don't need or don't want you can easily just uncheck them and they won't show up this is really great way to save frame rates especially if you don't visit those certain parts of the world that you don't need such as central North America so you don't go to Kansas much or South America so you don't really go to Brazil much you could just uncheck it and probably get a better frame rate now this is different per system so do not quote me based on your different system type um, but I know for me sometimes it helps but personally I don't really like taking off that part of the portion that I um, could potentially use in the future and I, I don't want to forget it one day and be flying and then an error and then F6 crash but for those of you that really fly in one portion of the earth, uh, this can be used for your advantage. Now the priorities have different numbers, so you know who's on top of each other. Um, but usually, uh, your different sceneries and different have different places, so you're never going to be seeing really that type of situation where there's a problem where a scenery is on top of each other, unless you install a custom scenery over a certain part of the world. Um, you can add different areas, say you have a different add-on scenery that you would like to add in, you can easily manually put it in. Now there's a problem with Windows 7 and up with adding sceneries, um, whereas you can't just go into uh, the Miami K M I A uh, folder, for example, and just click OK and it would open up. First you'd have to click on the white area of the directory folder and then it would go in but as you can see I already have it in but um, that was just an error that FSX hasn't really resolved due to uh, the lack of updates um, and you can also edit areas seeing as this maybe change uh, the location of the directory or cache it um, different stuff like that uh, you can also move the priority I don't know if I discussed this before but you can move it up and down there and you can also delete an area say you don't want it anymore but I do not suggest deleting uh, the default areas because you would have to reinstall FSX in order to get it back. Um, empty scenery cache on exit is basically refreshing it. So for example, if you uh, download a scenery online and you don't feel like exiting your FSX or you don't feel like uh, rebooting uh, FSX in order to get that scenery in, you could just check empty scenery on exit. Once you press OK, or once you add that scenery that was just installed through the um, addition area, you could just click OK and uh, it'll take some time to reload the scenery databases so you don't actually have to restart FSX every single time you get a uh, 
new um, scenery. So this does not go in the application to planes or anything. I'm pretty sure if you have a new plane, you have to restart FSX. But for those of you that don't like restarting FSX because of longer loading times, this is a u ideal uh, a situation for you. Um, so I hope this does help those who make videos or those who are just casual flight simulators that need to know this way of categorizing and prioritizing their sceneries. Hope this helps. Thank you.